Hey guys. Okay. Today we are going to talk about the golden beads. The golden beads are some of my absolute favorite materials in Montessori in the math world. And the golden beads, you would start with a child who is already solid with their one through 10. They know the symbol. They understand the quantity. Now, what you would think is that you would go on maybe to the teens, but in actuality, you would jump right on over to the decimal system, which is the golden beads. They essentially are groupings of more tens. So we're really, really solidifying one through 10. So let's get started. <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna need is a green mat. Green felt, green, just whatever you got. And this just kind of will signify that we are doing math. We don't have to necessarily tell them that we just break it out. This is our intro tray. You'll have a thousand, a hundred, a 10, and a unit. And you're actually gonna set it up as if you were going to give a lesson to a child sitting right next to you. And you're gonna have them each in order of how they would be in the place value of the decimal system. So this is how we would introduce that with the intro tray. We're gonna start with a three period lesson. This is one unit, one unit, one ten, one ten, one hundred, one thousand. Now it's super important that you don't say ten bar or hundred square or thousand cube because this is not about geometry or shapes. This is about quantity. So keep it simple. One unit, 110, 100, 1000. So we'd continue the three period lesson and you'd say, can you point to one unit? They'd point. Can you point to 110? They'd point. And can you point to 100? Can you point to 1000? Now we get into where they can physically handle the materials. Can you hand me 1,000? Can you hand me 100? Can you hand me 110? And can you hand me one unit? Now they name it. They can verbalize what this is. What is this? They'd say one unit. What is this? They'd say 110. What is this? They would say 100. And what is this? 1000. And at the end, we would summarize. One unit, 110, 100, 1000. And that would be the entire lesson. You would give that to them on one day and then you give it to them again. You would don't, as much as you'd want to keep moving and some children may get it right off the bat and you wanna just keep it moving. You would wanna keep it slow and you kinda of wanna leave them wanting more. You don't want them to ever feel like they've taken on too much because then they can often feel overwhelmed and like they don't wanna go back to the work. So it's always better to keep it just under what you think they can handle. 